I tell the stories of the Eastern Band. It is said to hear our stories is to know us, and to know us is to know yourself. Our story is an epic tangle of true legends and legendary truth. We are a family of icons who must reconnect with the living, the vital and the real. Does our culture still hold the truth? Can it still connect? Does it still have the power to guide our children onto the right path? Long ago, when the world was new, seven Cherokee boys spent their time playing and not gathering corn. Their mother scolded them, but it did no good. They came home from play very hungry. Since you like to play better than work and not do your part, take these stones to eat for your dinner. The boys were angry. We will go away from the mothers and bother them no more. They began to dance. They circled higher and higher until they were taken into the sky. The mothers grieved long after them, all but one who reached into the sky and pulled her son down. But he stuck the ground so hard that he sank into it and the earth closed over him. His mother cried and cried on the mound. At last the seed began to grow, which would one day become a great tree. knows the same bright light as me. Well, what does this mean? What are you trying to tell me? Katie, the boys thought only of themselves. They did not do their part. Stay on the path, Katie. And the path is to Yantan, the right of the one, balanced by the good of the whole. This is both the lesson in this story and is at the heart of our culture. In the old days, our lives were balanced. Men fasted and prayed before hunting, and then danced to honor the animal before eating. When the women gathered plants, only a fourth was taken, and a gift was left in return. Every day, each member of the village entered the stream, gave thanks for the new day, and washed away any feelings that might separate them from their neighbors or from the Creator. Balance in all things is the wisdom of the ancients passed on to the children. This is how the Cherokee lived and thrived for thousands of years. It is reflected in our art, in our written language, in our clans and how we ruled ourselves, and how we treated the natural world around us. We must take our story out. So can they connect with those who are out of balance with themselves and the world around them? If so, would those people then be able to connect with us? We must take our story out so as to draw the people in. In downtown Asheville, a beautiful public park is being created in Pack Square, a place filled with a rich history. It has performance stages broad greens, interactive water features, original works of art. But most importantly, it will be the site to tell the story of our area. It will be the hub from which those who hear and see will know. They will learn. They will then venture out. If a story is to be told of our region, we must be a part of it, for we are the root from which this tree has grown. For thousands of years, the Cherokee have lived here. They have not only survived, they have flourished. Our collective wisdom is held within the stories that were forged in the turbulent times in which we have lived. If our stories are to be told and shared with future generations, if we are to show the path to Du Yankan, then who better than us to tell it? <laughs>